Good morning from our final day at sea. Well, not our final, final day, but the final day in this like seven day sea day streak. I just went upstairs for my walk. They put back some of the sun loungers, but not everything because the wind is still incredibly intense. You are definitely being blown away, but I'd almost say they put some sun loungers there because else everybody goes back to the eighth floor and then it just becomes a total mess again. That being said, it looks like it's going to be another amazing day. I had a look at the activities overview. And again, you'd think with one more week to go, Costa is slowly winding down, but actually it looks like they're increasing the activities that they're hosting. So for the first time, for example, this morning, they're starting with lectures about the different destinations, which to my knowledge, is something that Costa normally doesn't do. Also on my previous Costa cruises, they haven't really done lectures. Um, so it's nice to see that they're mixing up the entertainment. I, for one, am gonna go back into the sunshine for an hour or two, and then I will kick off the rest of my day. It's looking to become another fantastic day here on board Costa Toscana. We are now already almost past bedtime in that sense. For some reason, I did not keep you up to date. Today was just a very nice day, a relaxing day, but also very productive. I did a ton of work today. And I also just spent a lot of time in my cabin because the Wi-Fi, for some reason, it worked quite well. Like I was able to do everything that I wanted to do. And of course, I spent some time again on deck six with a coffee and they were doing quizzes and I just kind of sit in the corner with do my thing. Had a really nice dinner. Not everybody showed for dinner. It's quite an interesting dynamic when you think about it, because you you're not you don't owe anything to anybody. But in this case, I'm also kind of thinking like if you're, you're like we're doing dinner together for three weeks. So if you randomly don't show up. Again, you don't owe anybody anything, but I guess it's also a courtesy to at least let somebody know if you're coming or not, because we're also kind of waiting with, can we order, yes or no. But yeah, not everybody showed up. So everybody that was at the table, of course, we went to the Ferrari bar and we had some drinks there. And then afterwards we went to the show. There are two shows at the same time and we had to choose between, I guess, some sort of a Michael Bublé wannabe and some sort of they sold it as a rock dance experience. I spent around one minute at the Michael Bublé show because that just wasn't it. And then the rock show, what's different about this cruise versus this ship when it's just doing the circles around whatever, or wherever it's currently sailing. When they have the shows in the, it's called the Poltrau Frau Arena, now they've put up, even though, again, this, this ship is half empty, right? But they put down all the chairs instead of making the floor a dense floor. So it becomes much more just a show to watch versus something where it's just like music and dancing and people can kind of do the, do the same thing. But each their own. What is very important that we are about to arrive in Oman. So this is the end of our epic like six seven eight days of at sea overall it went by so fast it was so good i would do this again in a heartbeat tomorrow we are arriving in salala uh, tomorrow morning very early i will be staying on board i have absolutely no desire to um, go off the ship what I, i'm looking at the program for the day there's a magic of christmas show tomorrow so I'll probably go have a look that also I found another flyer in my room they're trying to sell you the wellness suite um, it is a private room with all sorts of wellness things and then they include a massage and it is 99 euros but they're saying it is unlimited which is quite interesting right 
And also, what's interesting is that not everybody got this flyer. So only one other person at my dining table got this flyer. So they're definitely targeting people, maybe people who haven't visited the spa or maybe people that aren't spending enough money and see if they can get some more money out of them. I don't know. But again, um, tomorrow the ship should be, I think, a lot quieter because many people will have excursions. What's also going to be interesting is that we're not sailing, right? So it's going to be 30 degrees and pretty much no wind. And how does the ship hold then? Are we just going to, you know, sweat all day long? Let's see. It's going to be an interesting day. I am excited. As of tomorrow, we'll be hitting, of course, Halala, day at sea. Then we go to Muscat, day at sea. We go to Doha, we go to Abu Dhabi, and then we end in Dubai. So the final stretch of the cruise is here. If you are still listening or you're listening for the first time, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. We still have so many days ahead. And of course, if you love cruises, if you enjoy cruising as a vacation, but you want to make sure that you're always paying an amazing price, please visit the sponsor of this series, which is EpicCruiseDeals.com. EpicCruiseDeals.com is 100% free. And how it works is that you sign up, you just put in your email, and the team monitors the fares of over 48 cruise lines and all the sailings in between. And anytime cruise lines are lowering the fares, you get an email alerting you that the fares have dropped so that you can make sure that you're always booking the very best deal. That being said, guys, I'm off to sleep and I'll see you in the next